three. Good day, students. I welcome you to second semester. My name is Mrs. Philomena Solomon from GSC Department. I will be taking you citizenship education. That is GSC 223. The course code is GSE 223 and the title is Citizenship Education. Once again, you are welcome. By way of introduction, in this course, you will be learning what citizenship education is. You will be taught who is a citizen why this course is important to you you will discover different types of citizens and how one can become a citizen of nigeria that is ways of acquiring citizenship so without wasting time today we'll start by looking at who is a citizen who is a citizen a citizen is a person who is lawyer a lawyer member of his country and uh, he owns allegiance to that country where he belongs to owe allegiance means to be faithful, to be loyal and committed, to be ready to defend your nation whenever the need arises. A citizen is expected to love his country. So, a citizen is a loyal member of a particular country. For example, a citizen of Nigeria owns allegiance to Nigerian nation and it's expected that such an individual should defend the country, should be faithful and committed to his or her duties and the rest of that. So that is the meaning of a citizen types of citizens types of citizens according to Oladele 2005 there are three different types of citizens and we are going to discuss them right now number one is good or active citizens good or active citizens you can just say good citizens or you can say active citizens this category of citizens are those individuals belonging to a nation that seek to always do good things they are law abiding they obey the laws of their country. They carry out their responsibilities, duties, or obligations accordingly. They are diligent. They are committed. They do only those things that will bring about the progress, the peace, the unity, of the country good citizens as the name implies they are on the side of positive actions towards the nation number two we have passive citizens passive citizens to be passive means you are less concerned not participating 
not contributing, nonchalant, or not even caring about what is happening. So, passive citizens are those citizens that do not bother about what is going on in the nation. They are unconcerned about what is happening as long as it does not affect them. Their attitude towards nation building, unity and love is not encouraged. As long as they are not affected by what others are doing, nothing matters to them. They are onlookers. They just sit and look at what is happening. They are not interested in news. They are not interested in contributing. They are not interested in positive change or even negative. So passive citizens are those citizens that are unconcerned about what is going on in their country. They don't contribute. They don't make effort to make things better. They are just there. Number three. We have bad or inactive citizens. Bad citizens. Bad citizens are those citizens that are not interested in the affairs of their country. They engage in negative, destructive, damaging activities that affect the nation negatively. Such activities as armed robbery, corruption, vandalization of public property, they pay assassin to kill, kidnapping, smuggling, of banned goods and many other activities. Some of you, you know them more than what I have just mentioned. And uh, I hope none of you is involved in any of these uh, bad activities engaged in by bad citizens. If you love your country as Nigeria, you should desist from any of these if you are part of it. So these are the three types of citizens that we have. Good citizens, passive citizens, and bad citizens. Now, we are going to look at duties of a citizen. How many of you are Nigerian citizens? Okay, so if you are a citizen, here are your duties. This course is meant to teach you your duties and also to make you to understand your rights. So, your duties include allegiance. Allegiance. This means that a citizen should be obedient to the country where he or she belongs. A citizen should be loyal, should be willing to make sacrifice where necessary. Allegiance also means the citizen joining forces with the armed forces. That is those who have been assigned the duty to defend the country. Citizens are supposed to cooperate with them to make it happen. For example, uh, as we go on, you discover that if you are living in an environment and you have knowledge or information about criminals around there, you should report to the authority. By so doing, 
you are joining forces, you are assisting, and you are contributing towards maintenance of law and order, and you are defending your country. Number two, to obey the law. Another duty of a citizen is to obey the law. To obey means you comply. Whatever the government say, this is the right thing for all of us to do, you don't go against it. For example, Nigeria has a constitution. That is the document that contains the laws of the land. So you obey the law in order to allow peace to prevail so that you don't become a nuisance to your society. Everybody, every citizen must obey the laws for the maintenance of peace, discipline, and security of the state. Where the law is not obeyed, you have chaos, you have confusion, you have anybody and everybody doing whatever they like. There is no orderliness where the law is not obeyed. So it is the duty of every citizen to obey the law. Number three, to cast votes with honesty. Honesty means when you do something with sincerity of heart. You don't deceive, you don't cheat. So citizens who are of the age of participating in election, according to the Nigerian constitution, anybody who is at the age of 18 can take part in voting. So when you go to vote as a citizen, you should be sincere. Don't collect money and cast more than one vote. You are just to cast one vote for your choice of candidate that you want to represent you. So do it honestly as a Nigerian citizen. When votes are not cast with honesty, wrong people go into government and then people complain. So always cast your vote, cast your vote with honesty. Number four, to pay tax. Payment of tax is another duty of citizens. Tax is the amount of money that one is expected to pay by government depending on the organization or the body that you represent. For example, you may be a businessman, you may be oil, uh, dealing with estate, you may be a transporter or whatever you are doing. If you are expected to pay tax even on goods that you are importing. You should not cheat the government. Pay the tax because the money uh, realized from these taxes are used for development of our country. So where people do not pay their tax, they are hindering the progress. They are delaying the development process. You may say only your task cannot stop development, but that is your own contribution. So if you contribute your own, another person bring his or her own, everybody cooperate, the nation will move. It's not by complaining about our leaders you do the little one that is your own duty to do. Another duty of citizens is to perform government activities properly. Government activities must be performed properly by citizens. 
if you are given an assignment by the government or you are working in government organization don't say it's government work you will not go to the office but at the end of the month you are expecting your salary to be paid you are not being faithful you are not being loyal to your country so any activity given to you as a citizen or any citizen is expected that that assignment that duty that responsibility should be carried out properly and effectively this will help to bring about development when the government officials and officers in various offices succeed and are competent in carrying out their duty progress is made easier so all citizens should endeavor and you that you are passing through this course you now know that government assignment government responsibilities government work should be carried out properly now we are going to look at responsibilities of government that is responsibilities of nigerian government to her citizens we that are citizens of nigeria there are certain things that the government is supposed to do for us to put in place for our comfort for our progress and for our benefit but if you don't know them you won't be able to tell whether the government is doing uh, well or not so here are some of these responsibilities of government to her citizens this is what the nigerian government is expected to be doing for her citizens number 1 to care for lives and properties of all citizens regardless of their tribe their sex religious political or socio cultural affiliation this means that the nigerian government is to protect every one of us and our belongings whether we come from the south from the north whether you are yoruba man you are igala you are ibo you are fulani hausa that should not matter at all whether you are a muslim or christian that does not matter or you belong to any political party it does not matter as long as you are a citizen of nigeria it is a duty of the government to care for you to protect you your houses your business your lives and everything that you have as we go through these responsibilities you look around you think and see if nigerian government is performing a duty towards the citizens number 2 the government should provide basic social amenities and infrastructure to her citizens at least to enjoy a minimum comfort this minimum comfort implies that the government cannot satisfy you fully the way you want if you look around in the society some are richer than others some are comfortable some are living in luxury so we are not talking of luxury here it's just minimum comfort at least the government should be able to provide health facilities good roads good drinking water electricity these are some of the things that will give comfort to the citizens 
at least the citizen should have a level of comfort prepared and provided by the government. Another responsibility of government is to ensure that citizens have equal rights, obligations, and opportunities before the law. Citizens should have equal rights. For example, if you are arrested by someone, whether the person is richer than you, that should not automatically means you are defeated or you will be sentenced to jail. You have the right to speak for yourself, the right to be heard in court. Before the law, everybody should be equal. So citizens should have equal rights and opportunities before the law. Then the government should ensure that equal and adequate educational and employment opportunities are given to all citizens at all levels. The government should ensure that equal and adequate educational and employment opportunities are given to all citizens at all levels. That is to say, if there is an educational institution, for example, FC Zaria is a federal college of education, all states should have equal opportunities to have admission into this college. Not only one state dominating and others not getting admission. You know, the college cannot, for example, admit all that want to come here. But everyone should be given opportunities, especially those that merit the admission. One should not be given just because uh, you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. You should merit your admission and opportunity should be given to all. Okay? Not only in terms of employment, I mean, not only in terms of admission, also employment opportunities. Where there are vacancies, people from different parts of Nigeria should be given such jobs and not only from one part of the country. So the government should ensure that such opportunities are given equally, spread across the nation for citizens around to benefit from all of that. Um, lastly for today, government should promote science and technology in our society. The world is changing. Technology is developing. So Nigerian government should ensure that citizens of Nigeria are educated in the areas of new development, new scientific discoveries, and others to enable people practice their skills and to follow the trend of events and not be left behind. Thank you for listening. You can take this number and call me when there is need. 080-54-90-78-42. Once again, my name is Mrs. Philomena Solomon from GSC Department.